Hi, my name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Happy Number Two. So, this is my last video before I go to work. God, I'm gonna take me a nap real fast before I have to get up to go get my niece off the bus, and then I'm going to work. All right, I want to talk to you guys because I've said this before, and I'll say this again. And I have been watching some Bigfoot videos, so I'm gonna ask you guys a question, and I want. Your honest opinion if you're going to answer me back for those who are watching please answer me back how much of Bigfoot do you guys know for a fact is true how much of anything supernatural do we know for a fact is true in fact do we even know if the supernatural is true now let me give you my my answer and my opinion on this question because it hasn't been asked to me, but I've always thought of it because I've been watching all of the Bigfoot shows that used to come on um, Destination America and the American Monsters and all the other shit. I'm going to tell you right now, since I'm a person who believes in God, and I say believe in God, I'm not a God-fearing person, and I will make a video about that eventually. But, you know, for all you people who either don't believe in God or skeptics or whatever. Do we really want to find this thing? I mean, do we really want to get down into the guts of finding this thing? Because you got to understand, not because of my graphic novel that I wrote the legends in and put my own twist to it, but because of the simple fact that there's an old saying about biting off more than you can chew or being careful what you wish for because you might get it and it might not be what you want it to be. And a lot of us don't want to follow that concept because a lot of people just want to um, take the chance and say, yeah, he's out there. We should probably um, keep going till we find him. And I'm the opposite of that. Yeah, he's out there. But we probably shouldn't be fucking with him. That's just my saying, and I know this foul language and everything. And like I said, we really, really, most definitely should not be fucking with anything supernatural, especially when you don't understand it. So, as a person of Cherokee descent, I'm pretty sure that the Cherokee Nation probably knows some things about the Sasquatch that they don't want to share. I'm not going to go to there and say, hey, elders, can you tell me about the Sasquatch? No. I'm not going to do that. You know why? Because I would be that one that mysteriously, because my luck is just as fucking bad, I would be that one who would actually stumble into asking the elder something and they'll be like, we've been waiting for you for a very long time. In fact, we've been waiting for you since your great-grandmother Ada left the reservation. You are the chosen one. Since my luck is that bad, there's no way in hell I'm going to ever go to the Cherokee Nation and say, Hey, I want to talk to you guys about Bigfoot, Coyote the Trickster, the Deer Woman, and Thunderbird. And not me. I'm not going to go ask these guys that question, especially the ones that actually met them, let's say. Because we can't prove that legends don't exist, just like we can't prove that they do. It's kind of the same thing as that unicorn theory and Pegasus. Somebody had to see something. For all this shit to come to pass. Especially like in Greek mythology. Well in Native American folklore. Someone has had to see something. Or everybody's drinking the same poisonous ass water. And legends just spread. And, and, and that could be it too. you know. But see as a person who believes in God. I believe in the supernatural. I'm pretty sure that there are things beyond human understanding. That we just aren't meant to understand. But curiosity. Which killed the cat will also kill the human being. And like I said, I have a few theories in life, and some of those theories may make sense to some and may be a complete mind-blowing experience to everyone else. And I believe that time is relative and running continuously now, which is why some people can see the veil, break the veil, why some people are mediums, because some of these people actually can communicate with other timelines and existence. And shit. I made a video about this before, but about timelines and stuff. 
I don't think I titled it that, though. That might have been where I fucked up at. But anyway, I made a video about it. And the thing with alternate timelines and things like that is that psychics have powers, and they're always telling our future. So we can't say that they can't see into the future, but the future supposedly isn't written in stone. So how does that work? That's a conundrum, or what I like to call a clusterfuck, because one wrong turn could change your future, okay? One right turn can change your future. But if you cruise down the middle, if you take that third line, instead of going right or left, you decide to go straight. If you go backwards to undo something, where does it take you? So the question is, myths and legends, are we really willing to take the consequences of discovering if a myth and legend exists? Because like I said, you know, only people who have basically stumbled on Bigfoot are people who are by themselves, people who fly drones, or people who are really, really desperate to find this uh, creature. My phone is tripping. What in the hell? I didn't hit the button. Anyway, <laughs> that being said, if we are really enamored about finding Bigfoot, what happens when we find him? Do we collectively decide to encamp him and put him in a cage environment so that he can't escape so that we can study him? Do we tag him and let him go back to his people and then we surround them and take them and put them in encampments or cages and study them? Here's the thing. Ridiculously enough, I really don't agree with any of that. I agree that we should just leave that motherfucker the hell alone because one day we may need him or vice versa. And it, it brings me back to an episode of Johnny Quest when the Cartoon Network amped it up, you know, um, and they went to Tibet and they found the Yeti and the monks were protecting the Yeti and the Yeti was the old Yeti and he, they took him the hand of a Yeti or some shit like that. I don't remember the whole cartoon fact check that and google it but at the end johnny and dr quest and his whole crew was introduced to the main monk who was a yeti who spoke perfect english so again it could be like that and it could be worse it could be a monster under the skin which goes back to do we really want to fuck with the supernatural and that's the question Think about it. Do we really want to fuck with the supernatural? Now, back in Greek mythology days, the hinds, the ladies that were women at the top, but had deer bodies at the bottom like centaurs, they, not to be confused with the deer woman, because she was not like them. She only had two legs. They were the only creatures who had the blood strong enough to kill gods, which is why Zeus had all of them killed. Because without them, gods couldn't die. But when you think about it, how the hell do you kill a god? You know, gods are supposed to be immortal. They're gods. We are mortals. We have a lifespan. We have a time to begin, to grow, to learn, and then an ending. Sometimes we die in our sleep peacefully. Sometimes our lives are taken by some other asshole. Sometimes our lives are taken by pure bad luck of an accident so the question is do we really want to keep fucking with the supernatural I want to learn but I don't want to expose that doesn't make sense to you let's just put it this way if I walked out my house and I lived in the country and I bumped into a Bigfoot and it was peaceful and it could communicate like either telepathically or it could literally talk like I'm talking now I would never tell a soul and people would be like meet Bigfoot out here or anything? No. There's no Bigfoot out here. And I know you guys are thinking, but James, you took an oath of service to protect home and country. Yeah, that would be from domestic and foreign terrorists. Bigfoot is not a terrorist. Bigfoot is a being that lives in this country, literally, in the woods. So, why would I worry about it? And 
let's say, a life for a life. Maybe if I save one Bigfoot, one will save me. So I don't want to put myself in a situation where I won't be able to get help if I need it. Anyway, I'm James Williams Jr. Keep that in mind while I make the second video. You see him